Hello friends, today let's solve palindrome partitioning two problem. Given a string S, partition S such that every substring of the partition is a palindrome. Return the minimum cards needed for a palindrome partitioning of S. Let's see this example. If the input is A, 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 B, then the output is 1 because we can cut here. So the left part is double A is a palindrome. And the right part B is also a palindrome. And uh, recall that actually we can partition every string to all palindromes because if a string have a length 1, then it is a palindrome. So we can always have a cuts, but uh, we need to get a minimum cuts here. Let's see. Actually, this problem is a classic uh, dynamic uh, programming problem. Uh, actually, we have two parts. First, uh, let's think uh, how to check uh, a substring is a palindrome or not. Well, one thing is that uh, if it only has one character, it is a palindrome. Let's see this function, we call it is palindrome, and A means the character array, which is a char array. And ij means from i to j, and if i great o equals than j, we return true. Why? We can uh, easily understand that if i equal to j, we return true. But why is greater than j? How? Um, let's see the second part. If uh, the i is less than j, we first compare the first character and the last character. If the same, we recursively to check whether the inner part is a palindrome, if it, it is a palindrome, then the whole i to j is a palindrome, otherwise it's not. So that means we, we need to check whether i to j is a palindrome, is based on the i plus 1, j minus 1 is a palindrome. Uh, let's see, if the i to j is just this part, so i is 0, j is 1, right? And we know a0 equal to aj. And we need to check uh, a plus 1, which is 1, j minus 1, which is 0. So it's, it's palindrome a1 to 0. So we need uh, to, for this part, we need to return true. So that's this part uh, works. Because we already said if i greater than j, we said it's to true. true. So that's the reason we use a great or equal then. So this is the function. And then for a given string, we can memorize all substring, uh, all substrings palindrome cases in a 2D array. We call it is palindrome. And uh, we uh, use this subroutine called the compute all palindromes. This is the char array. Right? This is the is palindrome array. We will cache all the uh, substrings palindrome situations here. So from this relation, you will find that uh, whether i to j is a palindrome is based on whether i plus 1, j minus 1 is a palindrome. So it actually based on its right part. So we will go from right to left. We will start from i to n and the uh, J will start from I plus 1. This is the right part. OK, that's the reason. And I start from an I greater or equal than 1, I minus minus. And uh, this 2 means this part. Well, we will set is palindrome I, I minus 1 to 2. And uh, I, I is 2. So you will notice that we let this palindrome is palindrome size to n plus 1 times n plus 1. In this case, the i minus 1 will always be, be valid because it's greater or equal, equal than 1. So this, this part is always valid. So this 2 is true. And j will start from i plus 1 and less or equal than n. As we set uh, this ij one, uh, one more than the position in the uh, char array. 
So if we go to the chart, we, we need the two minus one. So this is the I minus one, J minus one. If they are the same, we check uh, I plus one, J minus one. If not the same, we just set it to false. Well, this is the two example I will show you. Because for a palindrome, if it has old uh, length, this is the even length. If it has old length, its center is a char. So for that case, you will see the example. If i equal to 1, j equal to 3, then we find its uh, corresponding char in the char array, which is a0 and a2. They are the same. And uh, then we need to check uh, uh, i plus 1, which is uh, 2. And j minus 1 is also 2. And as it's just one single character, so it's palindrome 2, 2 will be true. So we return true. It is uh, correct. How about this example? If i equal to 1, j equal to 2, then we will uh, check its corresponding char, which is a0 and a1 is the same. And then we need to check its palindrome i plus 1, which is 2, and j minus 1, which is 1. So that's the reason we need to set this part. OK, this is the pre-processing. We compute all palindromes in the given chart rate. Uh, this is the main part, I think. It's also a dynamic programming uh, idea here. Because uh, one thing you should know that uh, for if uh, back we, we say k is greater or equal than 1 and less or equal than n and the ao is greater or equal than k if k to ao is a palindrome then we know we have one more palindrome so the minimum palindromes from k to the end of the string will be the minimum of the minimum palindromes k of uh, and one plus minimum palindromes ao plus one well i forgot to mention that minimum palindrome actually means uh from uh, well minimum palindrome one means the minimum palindromes from one to n from this index to the end of the string the minimum palindromes for the given example, the minimum palindrome actually is two. We cut one, so we have two minimum pal uh, two palindromes. So we will use a minimum palindromes function. That means uh, the minimum palindromes we can get from index i to n. So for the KL, if the K to L is a palindrome that uh, we will have one more palindrome. So there will be one plus minimum palindrome AO plus one because the rest part, we already get its minimum. So this is the relation, the minimum palindrome K equal to minimum palindromes K. And uh, as K to AO is a palindrome, so one, that means one palindrome plus the minimum palindrome AO plus one, the rest part will also be optimal. So this is also minimum palindromes. So you will see that uh, the left part is also relied on its right part. So for this relation, we also start from right to left. We first uh, calculate uh, the right part, and then we use this result to calculate the left part. OK, so we will new a uh, minimum palindrome size to n plus 2. The reason is that uh, we should uh, always make sure the index are valid. And uh, the minimum palindrome n plus 1 is 0. That means, uh, actually, this means 0 palindromes. And uh, k start from n and l start from k. Because k to l, if they are the same, right, it, uh, it uh, always will be a palindrome. So always can cut, uh, we will have one palindrome. So that's it. But the initialization, all the palindromes uh, except this n plus 1 will be integer max value. In that case, we can get the minimum value.
Okay, in the end, the result will be minimum palindromes 1 minus 1 because this is the number of the palindromes. But uh, this question asks for the cut, so we should have minus 1. Okay, so wrap up. One thing is for a given string, we need to use a 2D Boolean array to cache all the palindrome situations. And uh, the is palindrome ij is based on the is palindrome i plus 1, j minus 1. So we should uh, go from right to left. And uh, do not uh, forget to set is palindrome i, i minus 1 to true. Uh, you can think of this example. This is one thing. Uh, another part is uh, mm, the minimum palindrome array and uh, is also this is the relation you should notice and it's uh, also based on its right part so to calculate the minimum palindromes we still go from right to left we just uh, check if uh, current sub uh, array is a palindrome if it's a palindrome that means we have one more palindrome and uh, we just add its uh, minimum palindrome l plus one okay in the end, uh, return minimum palindromes 1 minus 1. OK. Let's write the code. I hope you already understand. We first get uh, the n, which is s dot length. And we will use a um, Boolean array. We call it its palindrome. And a new Boolean n plus 1. n plus 1. And we will call a compute all palindromes. We pass its palindrome and s to char array private void compute all palindromes. Um, its palindrome is a boolean array. Its palindrome and uh, char array. We just call it a. So we get n will be a dot length. I start from n i greater or equal than 1 i minus minus and its palindrome i i minus 1 will be true and its palindrome i i will be true and the four in the j equal to i plus 1 j less or equal than n j plus plus we will check uh, its corresponding chart if it's equal to a j minus 1 right if the same, then is palindrome i j will just be is palindrome i plus one j minus one. Else, is palindrome i j will just be false. Okay. Now we should uh, use a uh, minimum palindromes, and its size will be n plus two, and uh, we initialize all the minimum palindromes to integer max value and uh, do not forget to set uh, minimum palindromes n plus 1 to 0 because they actually have zero palindromes and then from k from n k great or equal than 1 k less minus minus and the four int l equal to k l less or equal than n l plus plus if it's palindrome k to l is a palindrome then the minimum palindromes k will be the mass dot minimum minimum palindromes k and the one plus minimum palindromes um that will be l plus one Okay, finally return the minimum palindromes 1 minus 1. Okay. Compute all palindromes. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.